Hey guys, what's going on? FI My Pawn here. Welcome back to Septech Ages. Since we last left off, we managed to do quite a bit. Uh, namely, we managed to do some other mechanism stuff in regards to upgrading our base. We tried to make some stuff in the modular machinery and whatnot, but or, well, not modular machinery specifically, but we tried to make a uh, an infinite water source, but we couldn't. So instead, we decided to turn our attention over to the end and get the supplies there, and a bunch of other stuff. For this stream, we are going to... Well, first, we're going to try and get ourselves some new liquid storage. So we're going to try and get that upgraded. We are going to try and get some AE2 storage. And we're finally going to make our infinite water source. So that's the goal for today's session. So without further ado, let's just get into it. And see what we can get into. Now, with the whole machinery in mind, we are going to have to do a lot of prep work. But thankfully, because I knew we were going to do this, I did some prep in the background, and I did some slight movement modifications to the base. Just, just a tidbit, anyways. But I've reached a point in my base where I can start actually digging down. And well, l let me show you the results, first and foremost. Maybe that will be the best way to go about things. So, first and foremost, let's uh, address the uh, big elephant in the room. Uh, let's just put these crystal back. <clears throat> so, due to my armor here being at like very low durability, I wanted to make a new set of armor. So, we will have to get to that at some point, but before I do, I'm just basically going to give you guys the rundown of what ended up. But what, what's what around here, basically? So, as you can probably see, I've done a little bit of modification at the very bottom of the base. Uh, mainly, I've not only scaled down the cliff here, so that way we can, uh, so that way we can place the uh, new farms around. Uh, I have decided that I'm going to put the uh, smeltery on the same floor as the farms. I'm just going to have it lowered down into this little pit here. So it's going to look nice and tidy, and it'll be it'll be flush with everything. So that way we have a uh, modular machine that we can use to, well, smelt ores and whatnot. And we can like, stack it up as high as we possibly can. So that's the first thing, uh, among the other things of crops. Uh, over here, you may have uh, noticed that I've got some bonsai pots. I've ended up doing some uh, hopping bonsai pots, so I can start pouring resources into the chests. As you can tell, they have been working uh, feverishly, and I've managed to get quite a bit of uh, blocks already. I didn't place anything on this one, because I couldn't figure out what I should place there, but it's no big deal. Honestly, I could probably just do one of these and it'd be a done day. Like, yeah, see? But I digress. Sorry about that. Uh, something was going on. Alright. But yeah, bonsai pots are working uh, feverishly to get strong or get better. And they'll be getting resources automatically. The potatoes here, the beetroots, basically all the farms are set up without too much hassle. I will need to find like one, two, three, about six more crops that I need to grow. But that is not a pressing matter. Uh, in addition, as you can probably tell here, I've finally automated the... Uh, the design of these cooking furnaces. So I've got the uh, stoked kilns here. I've got a stoked crucible and cauldron for if we need to use it for sto stoked recipes. 
Uh, what else? I believe I already showed you the design of the uh, new piping system, so that's not too much of a worry. The only other thing that I have to worry about at this point is really just, well, getting a new mantle of stars. So, for the first thing we're going to be doing the stream, I'd like to get ourselves a mantle of stars. Strictly because if I don't, things are just going to get worse for me. So, let's start with getting a mantle of stars and we'll start making stuff from there. Okay, we'll grind those into dust. Okay. With that, we're going to need resonating gems. We're going to need our leather tunic, which I think we already have. Uh, Leather-wise. Uh, we've got the leather for it, at least. Okay, one leather tunic. Like so. We have the stardust, we need the illumination powder and the resonating gems. Okay. We've got the stardust. We need the resonating gems, which is four of those star gems. Uh, I do believe they're in here. Yep. We will do the aquamarine. Okay, that's four aquamarine. Uh, what else? We need illumination powder, which is sand, glass shards, aquamarine, and gunpowder. So, one more aquamarine. We're going to need some gunpowder. So, let's see. Gunpowder, gunpowder. One gunpowder. Two sand. Get them into piles. We'll quickly co cook them as such. All right, and then that should be the illumination powder, which allows us to make the mantle of stars with these. Although we're going to need a star metal ingot. We're also gonna need stardust for the recipe to make the ritual that is. Okay. Well, that's grinding. We're going to need a ender pearl and a feather. So ender pearl and feather. Oh, just one. There we go. And to make the visio type, we're going to need four stardust, four feathers, the mantle of stars. So four feathers. All right. Need four stardust. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, we're going to need string, sugar, another feather, and a raw fish. So, feather. What else? Uh, string, sugar, and. Alright. String, sugar. All right, sugar, and what was the last one again? Uh, raw fish. I do believe we should have a raw fish in here, I think. Yep, we have 31 at least. So we'll take all those. We need to turn the rest of these into star, or the, just turn these four into star dust. There we go. And let's go up to make the, well, the item. All right, Mantle of Stars. Oh, we're right, we need the Illumination Powder, so let's quickly grab that. Okay, this should be it. All right, Illumination Powder. Right, we need the uh, crafting wand in the first place, so... Alright, where is it? Should be somewhere. There's the linking wand, but we don't need that. We need the... 
other type of wand, wherever it is. Hmm. Is it in my inventory? I would assume not. Nope. Not in my inventory. Where else? Where else? Where else? Unless I'm completely blind, which I seem to be. Uh, is it in here? Ah, here we go. Resonating wand. We need the resonating wand. And we will quickly go through and make what we need. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, that's the powder. Alright, the mantle of stars just needs resonating gems. So let's quickly get those made. Oh, uh... It appears that they are running low, so let's go quickly... Refill any that I've missing. There we go. Alright, that should do it. Alright, now I just need the four resonating gems, which should work out relatively easily. Uh, that has been emptied, so let's quickly get another bucket of liquid starlight. Okay. Put that in the middle there. There we go. Let that glow. Gather the uh, gems as we see fit. Alright. This is a little bit slow, but it's fine. Oh, uh, we've also run out of that, so let's quickly grab another. Okay. Uh, where is it? Here. There we go. Alright, one more. One more. Okay. And last tidbit. There we go. Now I should be able to make everything without too much hassle. Alright. With that, a mantle of stars. Uh, it appears that it doesn't have enough energy. That's odd. Considering it should have enough energy to handle this. Maybe I have to remove these obsidians. And get rid of all the links. Yeah, let's get rid of the uh, links and just focus on one. Using the linking tool. Now, that one very link... There we go. Okay, so the more links you have, the less power this has to divert to uh, the machine. Which I guess makes sense. Oh, right, right. Uh, items. Feather. What else? Hmm. Uh, Ender Pearl. Okay. Stardust. And Star Metal Ingot. There we go. And that should make something. Or at least it should make the, uh, vestment that we need. With relative ease. Alright. There we go. We've got the Mantle of Stars now. Uh, a new Mantle of Stars with a full durability. We'll just get the Stardust real quick. And now we can fake, er, rather not fake, but the make the last one that we need. Okay, Visio. 
Okay. Uh, we need a feather. Put that in there. What are we looking at? Here, we need the sugar. Now for the other two. We need string. And of course, we need the fish. Bingo. And without further ado, just let it grind away. And we will have ourselves a new Visio Mantle of Stars. Although, what I'd like to do is get some enchanting for this Mantle of Stars, so we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to get to that at some point, but what I'm actually gonna do before we do anything else is I'm actually going to prepare something in advance. So you know how I have concealed blood loops? We're gonna have those on instead of the king shoes, or the goblin king shoes. The reason being that if this breaks mid-flight and I'm like over here, that could kill me. So I'm just gonna take the precaution while I have it essentially. Okay, put those away. And yeah, let's just empty our inventory and let's get actually into the uh, episode at hand. So, but after we put these tools away here, put that away, and we'll keep these on us. Uh, we've got the saplings, so we'll just put those away, I assume, for now. Uh, eucalyptus, uh, maple can go... Uh, I'll just put the maple here, as well as the saplings there. Okay, that'll have to do for now. We will fix that at a later date, but we don't need to worry about it right now. Okay. First, let's handle the liquid storage. Now, I have a few options I can go with uh, handling the liquid storage. Uh, some is good, some is bad, some is just interesting overall. But the point is that I need to figure out a solution for this. Oh right, I, I guess I never actually did tell you guys as well. Um, I've actually been using a lot more power. You see uh, all these? As for the reason why I have so much hemp, I've been using windmills a little bit more. So I've been uh, powering my base with uh, a bunch of those on the outer ends of the area. That is why I've got so much more power to work with. It's enough to keep my uh, refinery going, so I'm just hoping that's enough. But if it's not, I'll figure something else out, but that that's besides the point. Okay. So, first order of business. Let's figure out our liquid storage. Okay. So, for liquid, we have a few options. Well, I mean, there's fluid pipes, there's fluid extraction pipes from Cyclic. Uh, there's a fluid storage tank, which stores up to 64 buckets of any liquid. And it's rather cheap. Now, this is an option I can take. Alternatively, I do believe there is tanks that can be upgraded that are a little better than this. So, let give me one quick second. We check out tank. Here we go. Uh, we have inductive logistics, which gives uh, fluid tanks, which actually scale in size. And you can upgrade them. Uh, all they would require is stained glass and a singularity tank, which is four iron and five glass. So a singularity tank could work. 
So I'll turn. So basically, what you do is you make fluid tank tiny, and you basically stack them and stack them and stack them. So that's one option. Alternatively, we go with the uh, other option, which was what was it? Uh, alternatively, we go with the other option, which was the uh, tank that you saw before, which is just sixty-four buckets straight up. So. Regardless of the choice, because one uh, clearly has a significant storage over the other, because this one's going to have more room, it's just going to cost a lot more glass. The other is going to cost a bit more iron, but it has a lot more storage regardless. So it's really a choice between the two. So am I willing to go the obsidian route, or do I want to go the other route? Because this straight up stores 64 per block versus one that stores one block until it upgrades. But it has an infinite scaling up to, uh, it appears to be 2.0972 millibuckets. Which is quite a lot, I would assume. <laughs> uh, there's also build factory tanks, which I'm probably not going to use. I guess there is the blood tanks, but I think that is used specifically for uh, blood. But I'm not sure, to be honest. Hmm. Well, here's my thoughts. I'm probably going to make the fluid storage tank specifically, because I have plenty of iron, I have plenty of glass. So I'm going to rely on that solely to start with. And if that is not my cup of tea, we will work something else out. But put simply, I have plenty of iron and iron clusters. That is not a bad idea. Okay, with that, let's just toss in a bunch of iron. Oh god. Okay. Let's just toss, it, toss in a bunch of iron clusters. Because we'll need to grind those down. I will take out three of the powder and start splitting them up so I can start cooking them. Okay. What else? What else? Uh, is there a faster way to make panes? That, that'd be the question, wouldn't it? Oh, I can actually make panes the normal way now. Oh, nice. That, that actually makes things a lot easier now that I think about it. Hmm. If I can make panes the normal way, then screw, bugger the other way. I'll just make a, I'll just make the tanks the other way. Okay. All right. We will make, oh no, wait, we can't. Ah, nuts. Hold on, wait. Wait, can I or can't I? Okay, I can make uh, the panes via stained glass. Oh, sorry. Uh, the screen bugged a bit. That's fine. Okay, if I use a uh, stained glass, then it basically circumvents the issue. But still, uh, either I can use piles of sand to make glass panes, or I can cast. Alternatively, I just stain the glass and turn it from there. In which case, I'm going to need a lot of dye, but if I'm able to do that, then... That is a solution in of its own. I just need a bunch of dye. Hmm. Okay. Okay, if I can make white dye powder, that might actually be for the best. So I need bone meal if I want to make dye powder, so... Okay, let's make dye powder then. 
In which case we're going to need to grind bone blocks to make the dust. Or to make it into powder. This will be the easiest way to go about it anyways. Uh, we do have lapis as well, I suppose, but I think going about it this route is a little better. Uh, for now, though, let us get as much dye powder as we possibly can. Because we're just going to need to crush it. Actually, what am I doing? I can crush it the old-fashioned way by doing it this way. Take out these. Let's just grind it the, uh... Oh, no, wait. It's grinding with, a. Uh... Yeah, it's currently grinding iron grit. Never mind. I can't do that route. Okay. No. Uh. Yeah, this machine just needs to pump it out, I guess. So that'll make a. That'll make bone meal, which will make white dye powder. So we'll have to get into that at a m later date. Uh, but yeah. No, the glass is uh, gonna come in clutch, I think. So, oh god, I, you know what, let's, let's rest. Ah, nuts, okay. I really dislike the rain, because it makes things lag a bit more. But I can't really do much about it, so. Okay, hmm. Well, I won't be able to make the tanks yet. However, I can dabble in the AE2 storage at least. Okay, for the applied energistics, we're going to need an assembly controller. So, we're going to need two sticky pistons, a flux crystal, five iron ingots. Thankfully, I've got the sticky pistons. I need the flux crystal. Here we are. Get one flux crystal and five iron ingots. All right, that's the storage. And we will quickly turn that into the, not the inscriber. No, we don't want that. We want, what was it? No, no, we're not looking for the inscriber. We're looking for the other one. We're looking for the assembly controller. Here we are. Okay, we need compressed iron ingots. We need a pressure tube. Alright, and we're going to need printed circuit boards. So we're going to need certus quartz. We're going to need capacitors. We're going to need transistors and an unassembled PCB? Hmm. Uh, we're also going to need printed circuit boards and a pressure tube. And compressed iron ingots. So let's start with compressed iron ingots. If we compress a block of iron, we can make four ingots if we use the 2x2 two two packing mold. Pressure chamber also does the same. Explosion crafting is also an additional option. But... Throw some of the input material on the ground and set off an explosion. Okay. Well, I don't need to do that. Well, it has a 20% loss rate on yields. What is it required to make TNT? Uh, let's see. TNT, 5 gunpowder for sand. Okay. Alright, let's make some uh, TNT and let's get to explosion crafting, I guess. I'm gonna have to make it regardless, so whatever. Alright. Let's get the 32 iron ingots. Let us get a lever. And let us find a location where you can just blow this up without too much hassle. 
Honestly, we could probably just blow it up here without too much hassle. Get some TNT here. Get a lever. Drop the iron. Done. And hopefully this should work. Yep. 28 compressed iron. Perfect. And that is a, a lot more efficient than using the other method I was uh, planning on using, which was uh, compressing iron blocks. That would have been like half the yield. Okay. To continue, we have got three compressed ingots. We need a pressure tube, which is two ingots and a stained glass. So... Or rather, just glass, rather. There we go. And now we just need to make the machinery. The modular machinery, anyways. Uh, assembly platform. Wait, what? Huh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, Sardis Quartz, we need an un unassembled PCB, which again requires an assembly controller or etching acid. Okay. Hmm. Create a pool of etching acid. One bucket is enough. Throw in an empty PCB, which has been exposed in a UV light box. Okay. Uh, alright. I guess? Okay. To make a empty PCP, we need a pressure chamber, uh, which is going to require a three by three by three, four by four by four, a f or a five by five by five structure, with at least one pressure chamber valve in a face. Okay. Okay. We need a pressure chamber valve, which I guess is that. We're also going to need a pressure chamber interface. All right, yeah, let's use four of those to make a trip chamber valve and we need an interface so that's a hopper okay that's going to require five iron plates i do believe so let's quickly get five iron five iron uh we do have to plate press and play put the five iron there we are going to need a chest and a bronze gear i do believe which I don't think we have bronze on us currently, so... Alright. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's eight. Eight, ten. There we go. Now we can make the ingots. Without too much hassle. Okay. Wait, hold on. Why is why is the smeltery controller not working? There we go. That was weird, okay. Ow. Get rid of the apple sprout.
Okay, get rid of that. Place it back down via the casting table. Place it in the ingot cast. Uh, we will remove the pin pan cast in place of a gear cast, which is what we're going to need for the uh, hop. Is what we're going to need for the hopper, ultimately. Okay, uh, bronze gear. There we go. And now we just need the chest, and then we're good. Uh, here we go. Grab it. Nice. Okay. With that, let us actually go to sleep so we can quickly uh, get off this rain. Because it's going to get annoying. At least for you guys, I would assume. Alright, eight wood. And with that, got a chest. Putting the chest on the top, gear, and five plates. There we are. And from here, done. A hopper. Now we get the pressure chamber interface. Get the pressure chamber wall here. Now I can either make it a 3x3x3 three by three by three or try and go for the 5x5x5. Five by five by five. Okay, let's see. This block is used to create a pressure chamber. Create a hollow 3x3x3, three 4x4x4, by three by three, four by four by four, or 5x5x5 five by five by five structure with at least one pressure changer, changer, chamber valve in a face, not an edge or a corner of the structure. Uh, pressure chamber walls and pressure chamber glass. Oh, uh, pressure chamber walls and pressure chamber glass can be used interchangeably. Okay. Let us make the machine then. Uh, do I want it like that? I think? I don't know. Hmm. Where do I want it, though? That's the question, isn't it? Well, I'll put it here somewhere. Uh, let's put it, I guess, here? Like so. Yeah, we're gonna make it like so. We'll have the pressure changer, or er, pressure chamber interface there. There we go. And we'll have uh, two valves on the side. Alright, max pressure 5 bar. We don't need that right now. Uh, I guess technically I could do this as well. There we go. Two. Do it like that. So that way we have uh, four pressure sides on here. So should we need to... Should we need to, it's there. And now I just need to get more uh, compressed iron ingots. Which shouldn't be too hard. It's just like, what? An explosion away? It's like... Thankfully I've got a ton of gunpowder for this. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? It might as well do two stacks worth. So let's do that. Let's get another explosion going off and we'll go from there. Okay. There we go. New TN, oh, wrong, wrong building block. I need TN, or sand, not limestone. There we go, four sand. From here, TNT. Find a spot for it, probably over here, I guess. Place the lever, toss the ingredients, done.
Okay, good. I thought I uh, lost a chance to do that. Never mind. Well, thankfully I've got all of it, so let's get going. So, with that out of the way, we need to make the pressurized chamber hollow. So, with that, let's quickly, I guess, do five of them. That might be enough, but I'm not 100% certain. Like so. Okay. Oh, whoops. Here we go. Chamber. Almost there. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, so I still got a bit more. I think 24 should do it, but... I'd like to make sure otherwise. So let's go 16 for now. And we'll see what that does. Okay, uh, that's a 4. And now we just need to do the top row. Yeah, I'm going to need 16 more, I think. Or at least somewhere around that number. Okay, 16. Okay, yeah. I just need one more and then I'm good. Done. Pressurized chamber walls set. I now have a massive tank. Compression tank. Okay. Now what can the pressure chamber do for me? Uh, putting it in, or putting in iron will get me compressed iron ingots. Yeah, so I can put in iron and it'll give me compressed iron. Uh, current air, current volume, okay. Upgrades. Uh, it can be used as an air storage. Its primary usage, however, is to compress various materials into other materials, like iron into compressed iron or coal into diamonds. Okay. Okay, so... How do I go about applying pressure? That's the question, isn't it? Uh, if I want turbine blades, or if I want PCBs, uh, we're gonna need a plastic mixer in order to make green plastic. And we're going to need molten plastic for that. Which I do believe we can just get from... Okay. Hmm. Place in a plastic mixer along with some dyes to solidify into solid plastic. Okay, well, let's turn off the uh, output for this, so that way uh, it won't pour into the machine. Okay, well, I can't get to it, so kind of pointless, but, well, I'll just do a quick cut here, whatever. Uh, hammer don't have it, so whatever. Alright. Uh, where's the hammer? Because we're going to need that, at the very least. <laughs> uh, hammer, 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 hammer. It's got durability right now. Is it in inventory? No. Where do I put my bloody hammer? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, I think I've lost my applied energistics hammer, which kind of sucks, considering I needed it. <laughs> uh, it's somewhere, I'm sure. 
Just don't know where it is. It's in one of these chests, I know that for certain. Or it's on my, on my personage and I'm just missing it. Here we go. Yeah. It, it was just in the other bag. Okay. Alright, let's just cut this out. There we go. <clears throat> I guess technically we could just uh, rewire the piping. So that way uh, it goes into one and the other goes into the other. But eh, it don't matter in the end. Okay, well regardless. The point is we managed to get the pressure chamber, but we're still going to need uh we're gonna need plastic molder. Uh what can I turn uh plastic into? We can turn it into conveyor belts, we can turn it into a wither builder, or really just modular machinery. But I need uh, molten plastic currently, so that's going to require propene and all that other jazz. Hmm. Actually, before we do anything more, uh, I would like to actually change the uh, filtering uh, on our machines real quick for the plastic and whatnot. Uh, with the fluid routers, I should be able to make that happen. Because it's actually rather easy to organize. I just gotta be careful not to cause any uh, conflicts here. Okay, chop that, there we go. Cut this. These two will pump out respectfully, and I can just connect them accordingly, without too much hassle. Actually, what I could do is, uh... Yeah, I can connect these on the side here, is what I can do. Because there's no difference to uh, where they're going to be going, ultimately. And I just do it like this. And make it so... I place the fluid routers up here. On blue, it will connect there. And yeah, I just connect the uh, machinery accordingly. Yeah, this... this takes a uh, propene and this takes uh, the liquid plastic and just uh, we sort that way and if I ever want to turn them on well there's the option actually I might actually do it this way so that way uh, they don't get in the way as much by uh, moving them up uh, two blocks so like this here we go. Here we go. Same for this. Done. And once I start moving to the other tanks, uh, it's going to be a lot easier. So, we'll keep that in mind. Okay. So, uh, I should have the bone meal uh, ground up to a degree. Let us throw those in. Hopefully we have a... Ah, that's enough. We don't need all these bone blocks grinding away. Rather, we can use the bone meal to handle the rest. But yeah, that should make a bunch of powder, which is going to be used for glass. Which we can then make a bunch of panes and start making glass in, like, fast abundance. So we have that out of the way. Uh, we're going to start making the water. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make the water machine. I guess first.
All right, so we have a water, we have a hydrator. No, we need a water condensator, which is two iron gears, redstone, pistons, two plastic, and a water bucket. So I do believe we have some of the materials in here, but what we need most is the machine, which is actually gonna require compressed iron plates. We're gonna need plastic, we're gonna need a black iron frame, certus quartz, certus quartz crystals, Stabilized metal, cobalt plates, and printed circuit boards. Okay. So ultimately it comes back down to uh, pneumatic craft. Which, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how to pressurize. Hmm. Uh, let's actually do a quick search. Alright, pneumatic craft, let's see. Alright, pressure changer valve. Uh, it is used as... Uh, this multi-block structure can be used as air storage. Okay. Elevator base, no. Charging station? Nope. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Heat sink? No. Vortex tube? No. Nope. Cares a gas lift? Hold on. Pressure to pump up liquids when placed down. Okay, no, we don't need that. God, what what do we need to increase the pressure? Hmm. I don't know. No valid items in the chamber. Alright. This multi dock shocker can be used as air storage. It's primary usage for respiratory. Okay. That doesn't really help me. Hmm. Yeah, th this doesn't really say anything on how to increase the pressure. Well, let's give it a try. Let's try and compress an iron ingot. Let's start with that. Maybe there's a way to go about it. No. Okay. Hmm. Do I need another interface? Import and export items. Okay, so we're going to need another interface, I do believe, if you want to make this work. So, let's break the multi-block. Okay. Well, let's actually break it from here. That way I can just do the interface and outer face here. That way I can have the interface here. And then I'm going to make the out outer face on the other side. So let's quickly take one of the chambers. Oh, we're going to need a hopper. So we're going to need five ingots, again, to get the uh, interface. So five ingots, get them compressed. We have already the bronze prepped in advance, so we can turn those quickly into a gear. And now we just need a chest, which is actually really easy. Okay, from here, let's go. 
We're going to need eight ingots, or rather, a uh, chest. Uh, all this just to make a, uh, make water, make pressurized chambers, all that sort of jazz. Man. I wasn't expecting this for an episode, but hey. <laughs> or, or stream, rather. Okay. Well, whatever. It, it was bound to happen. I half expected it because it takes a lot of prep work just to get that stuff. Okay, we're going to need the hopper here, pressurized chamber, done. Now, with this, we put the outer face on this side. There we go. We make the pressure chambers accordingly. Done. Okay. One uh, exports, one imports, I think. Hmm. This is export mode. This is import mode. So you put you put the items in there, and you export from here. So. I think we just need two chests now. I might as well get two chests of obsidian. There we go. 16 wood. 16 obsidian. There we go. Easy as pie. Two chests. That'll do, I would assume. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if this will work, but I guess we'll see. No, it won't. Okay. Okay, how will this work then? I, I need a check. G give me a sec. I need to Google this because otherwise I'm going to be stuck here. Okay, we're dealing with a pressure chamber. Okay, hmm. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Oh, sorry. Uh, that was a uh... apparently a tutorial. Maybe, maybe there's a maybe there's actually a book that I can read up on this. Maybe, maybe that'll help. Is there any books in this uh, little UI? I would assume there is. Uh, is there not? Huh. Okay. Maybe H4 can help me, uh, give, get an idea. Let's see. Uh, pressure chamber. Use your, using your pneumatic, your pneumatic craft setup. Create a printed board. Uh, advanced machines need more complex castings. Plastic mixer. Amadron delivery? Hmm. Programming assembly, no. Okay. Uh, plastic mixer. Alright, let's start with the plastic mixer. That's probably going to be what we're going to need more than anything. I would assume, anyways. It appears there's also a silicon surface sample, so we gotta look for that in the near future, I would assume. 
but we're not too worried about that just yet. Plastic mixer. Okay. Plastic mixer is five compressed iron and three glass. That's really easy, all things considering. Alright, three glass. There we go. Plastic mixer. We can place this on the side here, I guess. Yeah, we just put a bucket in for the mill buckets, I guess, of uh, for plastic and whatnot. And we go from there. For now, though, let's see about putting the water in the chamber here and just getting that filtered in for now. Okay. Let us quickly... Oh, wait, it's our... It is not putting in just yet. can quickly do that, though. Okay, steam has been stored. It's enough for 500, but not enough for... Not enough for a middle bucket. Uh, do we have any... We have some jimmy cans. Somewhere. I guess they're in here? Yep. Uh, we'll get the empty one. We'll quickly just fill that up with as much water as we can. There we go. That'll make a bunch of steam. Quickly grab a the rest here and see about getting more water while we're at it. Uh, water here. There we go. Just used all that. Here we are. Bunch of steam. Hmm. We will need a storage for the steam. So we'll have to figure that out. Right. We don't actually have a storage for the steam, so we can't actually transport it in the first place. Alright, well, whatever. The goal was to get uh, as much steam as we could in order to make some more uh, plastic. There we go. Should be able to make a... Uh... That should just quickly pump out the liquid. Yep, there we go. It'll continue processing accordingly. I'll pump in some steam while we're at it. That way we can get more in. Okay. Just wait for that steam to disappear. There we go. There we go. It's not all the steam, but it's fine. We'll live with it. And that's diesel that's going in there, I do believe. So, yeah, there is that. Okay, what else? I guess, in theory, I could get rid of uh, the diesel bit and put in, put in steam instead. That way uh, it stores accordingly. I mean, it would be an option, I suppose, wouldn't it? Not necessarily the best option, but it's an option. Eh, why not? Why not? Let's get rid of diesel, because we can get the storage on another area anyways, so... And we can put in steam. Let us... I guess take from the NAFTA there. Well, first and foremost, let's get rid of that. Put that there. Get the... 
hammer. There we go. And it's pouring in there, annoyingly. Let's just quickly actually do this. There we go. Okay, for some reason it's filling into there, which we don't want. Hmm. That's kind of annoying, but okay. Okay. Take that. I guess we'll chop this pipe up while we're at it. Chop this so it doesn't interrupt. Get the uh, thing back in place. There we go. Sheet metal. There we go. Hammer away. Uh, put the steam away. There we go. And put in the fluid pipe. There we go. Ah, boy. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It goes in here. Okay. Well, whatever. At the very least, we got a storage for the steam somewhat planned out. So it's not like it's completely out of the uh, out of whack. Anyways, I am going to take a five minute break. And when I return, we will get back into machining and all that jazz. And hopefully we'll be able to turn all this, uh, all this modular machinery into something more. Yeah, we can turn the, turn the propene into, uh, well, we'll start by turning the prote propene into something else. So we'll go from there. So let's do that. And that should just fill into here somewhere. All right, we need to pipe it up actually. So hold on. Okay, propene gotten here. So we need to put that in through the blue here. Okay. Uh yeah, I'm going to take a 5 minute break. We'll be be right back.
Okay, I am back. Let's get back into things. Now, if I do recall correctly, the propene was, uh, trying to split into there, which is not what I want. So, that does yield some concerns. However, there is a solution to this. So let's quickly remove the piping here. Well, actually, no, if I keep the piping there... Oh man, this is a lot of uh, technical stuff that I have to go over. Okay, so first and foremost... Ow. Okay. First, let's figure out the propene issue. Uh, let's take those torches off, take this out, take this out, take the pipe out, there we go. Okay, so first and foremost, let's figure out the pipe issue. So, with the piping as it is currently, what we're going to want to do is to prevent it from uh, licking up differently, we're probably going to want these uh, fluid routers to prevent them from uh, going into a specific area. But with the propene, we're going to need to get the jerry can and just stack these in there. Okay, what happened to the... Oh, there we go. It was just in jerry can. Okay, so with that out of the way, we need to put on this side, once we figure out the uh, material, which is red. Okay. So with the red, we should have only uh, propene going there. That way we can prevent anything else going into there. And from there, we can connect the propene over to the casting over to here, the machine controller. And from here we take fluid pipe and build it up, I guess. So, like so. There we go. Like so. Well, maybe not like this specifically, I guess. I guess I could... Well, does it matter? Uh, I probably could just change the piping a little bit here. Honestly, to, to some extent, after all. It's not like we're in a complete rush to do this. We just need to make sure we actually get the pipes, because otherwise things just get wonky. So let's see. We need to make sure the pipes don't conflict, at the very least. So from here... Just do it like so, I guess. And build down like so, and we're just one pipe away. Okay, so where is the other pipe then? Is it in here? I can only assume. No, it's there. Okay. Ow, ow, stop. Okay, well, if it's there, then, done. That was tedious, but we managed to do it without too much hassle. Well, extreme hassle, anyways. <laughs> okay, so now that the piping's done here, we just need to connect it like so. That will put the propene in there. But before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to chop that. We are going to place a, another fluid router filter. And we're going to want to put blue uh, as propene. So that way the, prop the propene will go into the blue socket here. And not conflict with anything else. So... If I were to connect, say, this to there, then no issues should arise. But I digress. Let us turn that on. And let's 
just in case to see if it's working right now. Well, once uh, we get molten plastic here, we'll see if that works. All right, molten propene is not going through. Okay, what's going on then? Hmm. If we... Is it a case of this just being there and it's not something we can do? Okay, now it's pumping in for some reason. Okay. So yeah, now it's processing. I mean, at that point, I might as well just connect these differently. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. As long as we get the uh, molten plastic, I'm not too concerned. I mean, honestly, at that point, I might as well just... Yeah, the plastic will go in there. And then we can just connect these to here. And we'll just have a uh, fluid router here. Uh, that is connected to south. We'll get a bucket of uh, molten plastic. We'll put this into the south deposit here. Uh, we will uh, not... Well, I guess we can connect it. It's not that big a deal, but... We're not going to turn it on, is the thing. So, let us get the pipes, which is here. We will connect it accordingly, like so. By doing it this way, there shouldn't be any going in there. Yep. So with that, we just take that, connect it, make sure pipe's not going through. Yep. And because I haven't got redstone signal going through, and molten plastic is already being filled in there, it's not that big a deal. Perfect. Now we have molten plastic, which is the key component for what we need. So we'll grab a bucket of that. And I do believe we need green plastic, which requires... red dye powder, green dye powder, and blue dye powder. Okay, how, how do you make... Okay, how do you make it, though? Uh, it requires a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius. Molten plastic and... Gonna need... Okay, how do you make it, though? Does... This isn't answering my question. Hmm. Let's see, what, what does that do? Temperature 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, we want green plastic. Okay, we want green plastic. Uh, it requires heat, which can... Think of a vortex tube. Fast, but requires power, but also lava. Okay, a vortex tube. What is a vortex tube? It is a... It splits incoming air into hot and cold components. Okay, well... How the heck do I make air? Or compress it as well? Like, this is confusing. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> jeez. I mean, I guess I could do lava. Like, I suppose that's an option. Okay, well, let's get, uh... Get some... Let's get some more liquid, uh, plastic to start with. Honestly, I could just get 
a jerry can to it. That might be for the best. Malt plastic. There we go. There we go. Just get all the plastic in there. And put it in here. For now. Until I can figure out another way to do things with it. Okay. So, with that, we're going to need either a Vortex tube or we're going to need some... Uh, I don't know. Uh, here we go, air compressor. This machine is used to generate compressed air. To do this, insert any solid fuel item that can burn in a furnace in the fuel slot. Okay. So we're going to need a furn... Oh, we can also make an advanced one. If we have an advanced pressure tube. Uh, there's also the air cannon, but... Max pressure, 5 bar. Uh, how much pressure can this handle? Well, I'm going to assume that 5 bar is the only amount it can handle, so I'm not going to go any larger than that. So let's go quickly make a furnace. The first furnace we probably made, to be honest. Which is going to be uh, interesting, to say the least, considering how long it's been. Okay. With that, I've got furnace. And now I have a air compressor. We should only need this air compressor. Uh, we will put the air compressor here. Uh, where do I want it, actually? I could... I could probably just put it here without too much hassle. We will connect the tubes here. Oh, it connects there. Okay. That's a different thing entirely. Okay. That will connect into there. And we'll have it also connect into here. Uh, can I actually connect in there? Oh no, we have to do on top, don't we? Okay. Take those, take this. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, take, put the bitmen there while we're at it. We will take the air compressor, we shall place it here. So that way we have light still. We are going to want to place it here, here, place one here. Hold on. We might actually need to... Where is it connected? Hmm. Hold on, maybe maybe there's an easier way to go about this. Uh, no, this needs heat, not pressure, so it's actually a different thing entirely. Okay. So, the air compressor can easily go for this, that's for sure. Okay, so get the compressor. We will get a pressure tube going into there. There we go. And that will go into the machine of the pressure chamber. Uh, we just need a bucket of fuel, so let's see. Uh, we can do kerosene, which is pretty decent. Let's do kerosene, because we got a lot of it. Why not? So with this, we put in kerosene, uh, which we can't use. Which kind of sucks. Uh, we have gasoline alternatively. Will that work? No. Alright. Solid fuel items. Okay, so not liquid fuel items. Uh, 
Uh, what would be the best for fuel? Uh, we've got coal coke, blocks of coal coke, coal, charcoal. Let's try coal coke. I think that might be for the best, considering its versatility. There we go. Let's see how that handles. Okay. Hmm. Oh. That's not good. Okay, let's just close that. There we go. That should keep the pressure now, I think. At least that's my hope. <laughs> hmm. I have no idea if this is working or not. Kate Steam. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is working or not. Hmm. Uh. It imports on the eye face and exports on the O face. Okay. So to have an O face pointing to the outside world, use the filter slots to select which items may be imported and exported. Okay, so there is a way to put it in and out, but... What, what do I use to do that, though? Hmm. Let's put the chest here, I guess. We're going to need pipes to pull in and out, I guess, to start with. So let's get two wooden transport pipes going, I would assume. Put the pipes here. Well, ha hold on. Uh, is there pipes here that we can use? There's advanced pressure tubes. Uh, we do only need the pressure tube specifically, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, hmm. Got liquid hoppers. We got omnidirectional hoppers. Not what we need. What we need is pipe. Okay, what sort of pipes do we want? We want... I guess we can use the cyclic stuff. Uh, item extraction cable. Uh, extracts items into item cables. Okay. Uh, energy cables. We've got fluids. Okay, just a bunch of shenanigans. Okay, whatever. Alright, let's get the white dye powder and let's just start making a... Let's start making tanks now, while we're at it. <laughs> Goodness knows we're, uh, gonna need them at this rate. Here we go. Quickly, there we go. Take the die out. Or at least put the die away for now. There we go. I'll do a quick uh, replacement here. There we go. That'll clear the inventory some. 
and let's start making those crazy, crazy tanks. We're going to use a single stack of uh, the stained glass to make the stained panes. Alright, what else do we need? We need... We need at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need nine containers at least, and they need to be upgraded accordingly. Okay, here we go. So with this, we need to circle them like so, with glass. Oh, no way, wait. Do I need normal glass for it instead? And I can use panes instead? No, 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 please, no. Come on, come on. Okay, a tank, tank. Uh, no, we need singularity tanks, that's what it is. Okay. So it's five glass of any type and iron. Okay, I thought I was uh, in for like a world of hurt. Okay. No, we're good, we're good. We just need to make singularity tanks. Which is actually really easy, all things considering. All right. Well, we managed to get the f tanks now. We just need to make the fluid tank upgrades. Okay, we've got one bucket. We need at least 512 if we're going to do the upgrade. Okay. Capable of automatic training and filling. All right, no. We're going to need more Singularity Tanks, so that good, that's going to mean more Iron. So we're going to quickly get three stacks of Grit cooking. There we go. Let that cook. We'll get whatever Iron we can from the machine here, which is none. Ooh, great. Okay, but whatever. We just need to make... We've got fluid tank small, if we do that. But it's still not enough. We're going to need a lot more glass, I feel. And a lot more of tanks. But the point is, we're on our way to making fluid tanks. And it's basically just upgrading it all the way up to... The highest possible category we can. As long as we can get to get it to normal, then we won't have to worry too much about, you know. Oh wait, I can do, I can do glass and iron plates. <sighs> okay. Good to know, good to know. Kind of wish I knew that beforehand. Okay. It's, it's fine, it's fine. I'll live. All right, well, whatever. We just need four iron. Okay, well. Uh, that's 11, we just need one more. There we go. That should be enough for the three tanks we need to upgrade from Tiny. So there we go. Singularity tanks, Tiny tanks, we need We still need some panes. There we go. There we go. And that's 16. Then we can make small tanks, which is pretty easy, but there's a simpler recipe. We can just use uh, iron plates and glass at that point. So let's get as many iron plates as we feasibly can, make as many... Uh, Alright, get the iron in there. There we go. Make as many small tanks as we can. 
which shouldn't be that hard. And we can start upgrading them from large to huge, which is purper and biotope, or biotites. From huge, we can go to extreme because there's platinum plates. To... Yeah, the highest we can get right now, it appears that we're going to get extreme fluid tanks. So that's what I'm, you know, hoping on more than anything. So get as much plates as we feasibly can. There we go, 12 more. Get some more plates made. There we go, 19. Let's make some normal containers. Let's get some stacks of gold. Uh, yep. Yeah. Two stacks should do it. Well, do we need gold? Well, yeah, let's just do it. Why not? The sooner the better. Alright. With that. We can make uh, more fluid tank smalls. About 13 worth. We can make a normal fluid tank. Uh, the large ones are going to need uh, gold plates, about 8 per, which is fine. We'll live. Okay. Now let's get back into uh, focusing on this pressure chamber. So, in regards to the pressure chamber, we are going to need to figure out how pressure works, ultimately. Because it, as it stands, I'm confused on that more than anything. Let's get a, I guess, eight coal. That'll do. Okay, no problems. Perfect. Pressure. Okay, I, I see. So the pressure slowly ticks up, essentially. 10 milliliters a tick uh, is currently 0.1 bar. So we need to get it to 1 bar if we want to uh, make it good. And if we want to uh, increase the pressure, then we're going to need to find a way to up the pressure, essentially. But essentially we have... Over 5,000 milliliters of air, just pumping in. Now we need a heater for the plastic. Which I do believe is lava, but I'm not 100% certain. I guess we'll see, ultimately? I don't hold high hopes for it. That's all I'm saying. We will uh, put the iron in while we wait for that. Alright, we... Yeah, because I can't really do anything beyond that until I figure out the uh, whole plastic bit and the pressure bit. So while that's uh, compressing and, you know, cooking up its pressure, I guess I'll focus on... Uh, Getting everything else set. Because until that uh, pressure hits a uh, peak, I won't be able to do much. So I'll just let that pressurize accordingly and go from there. Once it hits one pressure, it should be good. Alright, so redstone. We need a redstone engine, which requires steel. So we're going to need 8 steel, it appears. 8 steel, what else? Uh, where is it? Right here, okay. So 8 steel, 2 glass. Uh, we've already got the glass. We're going to need 2 pistons, uh, which we already got. We're going to need 4 redstone. Okay, 4 redstone, 6... Uh, Treated planks. There we go. 
Uh, we're going to need two pistons, I do believe. Two pistons, and what else? That's it. Okay. But with this, we can go over to here. We will put the steel in. And turn those into gears. And see what we do from there. Regardless of the case, it's going to take a lot of time and effort to, in order to make what we're looking for. <laughs> Ultimately, it's a slog of a grind, but needed. Okay. Let's see. Wait for the steel. Come on. There we go. With that, turn those into gears. And we can turn these puppies into what we need. I think this is a little slower than what I usually do, but eh, it's fine. It's more so figuring out how the machine works uh, this stream, I do believe, more than anything. Because now that I understand the roughness about it, I can uh, make do. Or at least try to make do. Alright, let's see. How's the pressure looking? Uh, pressure's 0.2. Good. As long as we can get it to the max pressure of 5 bar, then I have no complaints. But we don't need it any larger than 5 bar, I do believe. So, we gotta keep that in mind. Alright. Well, with that out of the way, get the redstone engines set. Uh, we will put them below here. And we will have a redstone torch to them. So that way they both power. Uh, this will pump in. And this will pump out. I do believe. So more than anything, we want iron going in here and we'll go out the other end. And thankfully, because I don't need to worry too much about that beyond that... Things should be good to go. I just need to get the green plastic. Or or more specifically actually, I need to get the uh, printed circuit boards and whatnot. So the unassembled PCB requires UV light box. So I'm going to need to make the UV light box, which is a PCB blueprint, redstone lamps, a pressure tube. Alright, so the blueprint requires two circuit boards, a blueprint of blank, and six plastic. So let's quickly make that. Uh, we're going to need six plastic, which I do think we have in abundance. Uh, where's the plastic, though? Hmm. I have no idea. Probably in here, I would assume. Here we are. Six plastic. Tons of iron plates, so let's uh, actually get those real quick. Wasn't expecting to use them here, but that's fine. Put all the... Wait, where are they? I just had them. Where are they? Oh, there. Okay. I'm just blind. <laughs> okay, put the plates there. Quick. Nope, not like that. There we go. And there we go. Put these away. I guess uh, I'll get some platinum? Well, no. Let, let's not just yet. Uh, we'll get some gold while we're at it, but we just need to make these tanks real quick. Okay, fluid tank normal. Get the gold. There we go. Done. Now we have a uh, gold tanks, which is basically the size of those. Which does the job, technically. We just need uh, more, essentially. 
which we will worry about later for now because we need the uh, UV station which requires a PCB blueprint which is uh, two circuit boards and a blueprint which is once again lapis and eight paper wait is it eight paper uh, no, yeah, it's eight paper. Eight paper, uh, lapis. Shouldn't be too hard to get. I think it's in here, actually. Yeah, here it is. I barely use lapis, I must admit. <laughs> but whatever, that's not the concern right now. Alright, lapis, eight paper, there we go, blueprint. Uh, with that, we need to make the PCB, which is two circuit boards and six plastic. We've got one circuit board. Okay, to make a circuit board, we need insulating glass, two vacuum tubes, and a copper plate. Insulating glass is iron grits, green dye, and red strained glass. Uh, do we have green dye on hand? I don't think we do. So, yeah, we're going to need more glass. Or green dye, rather. Which kind of sucks, but not too much. Just means we need to get green dye. Which, if I recall correctly, is those bell things, or... Manzania? What I really need is a cactus farm. Uh, yeah. Let's it. Is there a desert nearby? I don't think there is. Kind of sucks. Hmm. Uh, the enigma that will always haunt me. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to find those bell things, the Darutas, because I found them a lot here. It's just a matter of getting them, yeah. It's not too hard to get them, but I think, uh, I think what I'll do is, well, off stream, I'm definitely going to make, like, a cactus farm next. So we'll get one of those cactus farms going, probably put it somewhere here. And, yeah. Let's just get this ground up and just move on. I'm not in... Not too worried beyond that. As long as we do it, it's done. Okay. Have that grind. I probably could have ran it through the crusher, but whatever. I'm not too worried. Uh, let's get Iron Grit real quick. So, two of that. Alright, two Iron Grits. Uh, that's cooking up. Plenty of iron. Perfect. Okay, two iron... I could probably actually get four iron grit and make more insulating glass. Why not? Alright, four iron grit, four glass, two die. Okay. Uh, we have... Lacking, we're lacking glass. Okay. I do believe I have normal glass and mixed glass. Hmm. Oh well. That's not enough. Do we have any other glass that we could use? Got panes, but nothing. We got, I guess we got normal glass here, so let's get that. That'll do. Now I've got insulating glass, um, preferably I'd like more, but I don't think we can make that happen, so, rip. Hmm. Okay, now, circuit boards, circuit boards, here we go. Okay, let's us take out the blueprint for the, the graphite hops. We need the... Not the metal press molds, but we need the other one. 
which is in here. Here we go, circuit board. Okay, with the circuit board, uh, we're going to need two, two insulating glass, or one insulating glass. We're going to need two copper plates. So two copper plates, and then we're going to need those uh, vacuum components, which I don't think we have any. So we're going to have to make those first. So we're going to need nickel plates. Uh, we're going to need copper wire. We're going to need redstone and lime stained glass. Or rather, just glass in general. So let us quickly grab a stack of sand. Okay. There we go. Put in the 16 here. And we will just have 32 sand cooking. There we go. Eight sand everywhere. Get the iron out. Put it away for now. Till we can figure out what we're going to do. Uh, I've got Electrum. We've got Invar. But I don't think we have the materials needed for... What is it? Uh, nickel. Alright, nickel. Well, we, we can make nickel the uh, old-fashioned way. Because we have plenty of nickel grits that we could use. Uh, do we have nickel in abundance? We've got plenty of nickel ingots, so let's just get a stack of those and turn them into ing er, plates. Get a stack of nickel plates. Alright, so we're going to need copper wire, so we're going to make a bunch of copper plates, I guess. So let's quickly get a stack of copper and turn those into plates, which we can turn into wire. Quickly compress those. That way uh, we can make the uh, circuit boards without too much hassle. Uh, we're going to need the glass, which is already on its way, so that's fine. Uh, what else? We're going to need copper plates, which are already got on the way. Insulating glass, already got. Okay, we just need glass more than anything. So, let's grab some glass. Quickly turn that into a... Insulated glass, specifically. A green dye and two iron grit. There we go. Four insulating glass. Alright, got 18 nickel currently. For now, let's just focus on the copper, because we've got the bits we need. Alright, let's uh, have four copper plates, I guess. Well, let's see. Uh, we're going to need the wire cutters. Uh, I do believe they're in here? They are not. So, they are probably in one of these chests, I would assume, and I just missed it. Not there. Uh, in here? I swear. <laughs> I gotta go crazy if I keep missing these somewhere. Ah, <sighs> boy. Okay, it's not in here, is it? No. Uh, there is plenty of vacuum tubes, though. So we can probably make the, uh, what we need. Two vacuum tubes, uh, insulating glass, and copper plates. There we go. That's enough for what we need it for, but I'd like to get some more vacuum tubes. Well, in the near future. For now, let's just, let's just worry about making what we need. Okay, put that back. There we go. There we are. Alrighty tidy. Man, this is a uh, this is a lot, but if I don't do this, it's gonna be a hassle. Okay. So 
Now we've got the uh, circuit boards. We can now make what we uh, aim to do in the first place. So let's get six plastic. Six plastic, okay. All right, here we are. Put in two circuit boards and the blueprint. PCB blueprint, perfect. All right, next we need the... Uh, what was it? We need the, uh... We need a pressure tube, uh, and we're gonna need four iron, compressed iron. So, four iron, compressed iron, pressure tube, PCB, and redstone lamps. Or, three specifically, redstone lamps. So, that's gonna be just glowstone and four... Well, four redstone and some well, some blocks of glowstone so three blocks of glowstone and 12 redstone should do it split them up accordingly get the glowstone in play put the position the materials into position uh, for compressed ingots there we go UV. Okay, with that, I can now place the UV bit right next to the machine. Uh, I might as well just get the jerry can to it and uh, put the molten plastic away. For now, anyways, while I move this. Here we go. Move that here over to the... Here we go. Put the molten plastic in. Uh, I got the UV light. Oh, do you need pressure for this? Ah, you do. Okay. In that case, I can put the UV box here. It'll connect accordingly. How's pressure looking? It's 0.6, so we're getting there. Oh, I accidentally broke it. It's fine. Well, we're at 0.6, which is good. That means uh, the pressure is rising as intended. It's just slow more than anything, which kind of sucks. Apply at least one bar of pressure, yeah. As long as we can get five bars of pressure, we're basically good. But we're gonna have to get more of these, I think, if we want to get higher pressure. Oh well, that's not the concern right now. The concern is actually getting it to pressure and uh, making sure it works. Now we need to get the heat for this machine, which... The problem. Add rose red, add tactus green, add lapis lazuli. So I need cactus regardless. Great. Okay. You know what? This is a perfect time to get a cactus farm running. And you know what? I know where to get the cactus. You want to know where? Well, if you're familiar with the Twilight Forest and it's, uh, inhabitants, you'll know that the Lich's Tower actually contains cactus. Or at least, there's a chance it'll contain cactus on one of the lower floors. Now, if my theory is correct and there is cactus here, then it's probably going to be on the first floor right here. Oh my god, okay, so it was there, okay. Perfect. This makes things a lot easier. I'll just gather all the cactus and the... There we go. Just get out, come on. There we go. Perfect. Now we got the cactus. And this will save us a lot of time of just running around like a headless chicken. Getting stuff. Uh, before we do go, however, we are going to get some poppies. As for the reason why, well... 
you can imagine. But the main reason is obviously just getting the die. And considering we're going to need blue die in a bit, all the more important to get what we can while we're out here. It'll save us time, effort, and trouble for when we actually start making the thing. So with that, we come back, thanks to all that shenanigans. We're going to have to figure out how we're going to make the cactus farm, but it's well assumed that it's just going to be a grid, I would assume. Yeah, it's not It's not like we have anything specific we're, we're making here, so let's just make a typical fact cactus farm by a, uh, you know, corner corner grid. Uh, let's see, basalt is... Eight stacks. Do we have any actual building blocks that we can use here? I mean, I guess we got dark stone brick, but that's not what we want. We're gonna want. Yeah, let's just get a chisel. Let's get a chisel, and then we'll get to work. All right, stick. There we go. Stuff everything I don't need in there get a stack of basalt, turn that into smooth basalt for the design. Okay. And we just make a little platform, I guess. Because all we need is really the sand more than anything. So let's just quickly... like so. Alright. And then we can just organize it accordingly. Alright, let's get uh, a few more blocks and then we should be good. Uh, move the jerry can, get the chisel, turn the ch the basalt into smooth basalt. Quickly uh, go down here and make our cactus farm. There we go. And with that, we can start making the grid for it, which is going to require sand, which we'll get as much as we can. All right. 65 sand should do it. We only need to get the corners after all. So we'll quickly do this. Grid. Like design. Like so. Here we are. Oh, wrong bit. Okay. And we don't need water for this, so this makes things infinitely easier. Alright. There we are. From here... Uh, let's see. I guess there's the middle here that we will need to uh, iron out. So we'll keep that in mind. But other than that, it should just be uh, filling in these blanks here. Make it look nice and tidy, I guess. Here we are. Chop that. There we go. Okay, almost there. There we are. That'll do. And now we just take the cactus and start placing it. Okay. And I'll keep four just for my own personal usage, but I will uh, use this as a chance to get as much cactus as possible. And I'll toss the cactus in there so I can make cactus green. 
which is needed for the whole recipe in the first place, which is a whole lot of hell that I had to go through. <sighs> okay, while I'm at it, let's grind this poppy, so that way not only do I get cactus green, I can get the red dye, and we can get the... Well, actually, do I need... No, I need uh, to turn this into something else. This goes in... Let's just go there. Uh, does this actually make what I'm looking for, though? No, I need to toss this elsewhere? Alright, what do I need to do, then? Hmm. Okay. I need... Do I just... How do I make rows? I need, uh... Okay, how do I- how do I make it? That's the question. So, I need- Oh, I need dye powders. Okay, so it actually- It's actually telling me that, hey, you need to do this the other way. Okay. Well, I guess I won't be getting it that way. Okay, I just need to cook the cactuses. So, yeah, let's just toss these in the kilns, I guess. That'll cook. And then I just need to grind it into dye powder. So, this was actually the right way. I just couldn't do it the other way. Which, eh, it's fine. As long as it's done, it's done. So you just need to use dye powder on the liquid thing. Uh, we are also going to need to heat this up somehow, so we'll have to figure that out. Then we're going to need the PCB in the first place. And a whole lot of other jazz. But hey, we're getting there. That's the key thing. Alright, we've got a bunch of new glass. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but probably going to be using it for, well... As you likely expect. <laughs> Machinery. Alright, uh, nickel can go there. Or the copper and nickel can go there, rather. Let us grab a stack of iron plates. We'll make some more uh, tanks while we're at it. Because the more we have, the better, ultimately. We're going to definitely have to make some sand, though, so... Yeah, we're going to have to get some gravel real quick. We got uh, about 12 stacks. Perfect. Let's just toss that in here to grind up. As intended. There we go. That'll turn into sand real quick. Put the rest of the excess sand here. Use that for later, basically. We are nearly at one point, one bar of pressure, which is the good thing. It means we don't need to focus too much on the air compression as well, so that's a good thing. Uh, we still need to figure out how it works, but I think it's pretty easy, self-explanatory. You put an ingot into the input here, and on the output, it pulls out a iron ingot. And essentially... Input, output, and go from there. And we'll see if it works. And then, of course, we've got the uh, UV light box, which is a, sun a thing. Then we're going to need the dyes. <sighs> it's a whole lot of mess. Okay. Red dye, blue bot dye. We're basically there. That's the blue dye. Okay. Now we just need the temperature to increase.
Okay, pneumatic. Uh, we're gonna need a vortex tube, which is pressure tubes. Okay. One side will be heated, the other cooled. Its air uses are dependent on the pressure. Mind that heat will slowly leak between the hot and cold sides, so it's more efficient to vent the cold side when you want to utilize the heat, and vice versa if you want to use the cold. Uh, block that disperses heat into the air. It only connects to the block it's on, not simply adjacent to. When an air grate tube module is pointed at, at it, its effectiveness is greatly increased. Hmm. Okay. Vacuum pump. I don't need that right now. Uh, this machine can generate compressed air using various liquids. No. I need a vortex tube or something else. Uh, it's a kerosene lamp, flux compressor, pneumatic dynamo. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Electrostatic compressor. <sighs> it's a lot of management, I'll give it that. Um, well, at the very least, uh, I have the means to make the die and whatnot, so that's a plus, I guess. If you see it as a plus, anyways. I just need the recipe set, basically. It's just going to be tedious. Okay. Well, regardless, I'm going to need a heat. So... First, let's figure out what the plastic mixer needs. Uh, lava. That was the go-to, I think. So, let us figure out where lava is. Well, we've got plenty of lava here, I would assume. So, let's just pop these crates open, because we're not planning on moving them anytime soon. There we go. Grab a bucket of lava. And from here, I need to figure out, uh, does putting it near... Well, how does it work, is the question. Heat. Uh, this machine requires or produces heat. Heat can be applied by placing a block that generates heat next to the machine. Think of a vortex tube, fast but requires power, but also lava, which is slow. Okay, so... If I use lava, that's the next best thing. Okay. In that case, I will take this... And put it, I guess... I guess here? Yeah. Well, no. I'll put it uh, here. Uh, I will give it its dyes. Alright. Let us get some smooth basalt. Like so. Put some lava down here. That should generate heat accordingly yeah we can generate heat that way and we just need a few buckets of it without you know requiring too much at this point though I might as well get dark stone instead of uh, the other so let's uh, quickly do a dark stone brick design because that'll help all right dark stone brick design in a triangle like so so that way we can access it from the very top. Quickly gather more buckets. Put that there, put, take that. Alright. I just need four buckets of lava and that should power significantly fast. Uh, the hull is increasing. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. Oh. 
Hmm. Hull's suffering quite a bit, but it's turning into obsidian from for some reason, so... I guess I'm doing something right? Although, that said... If it's using up the entire thing... Here we go. Let's just pick the barrels up and just move them. Considering we're gonna need this, the uh... We're gonna need the lava. Here we go. The hole's probably gonna heat up crazy. Is that gonna work though? Add cactus green. It requires or produces heat. Okay. So, I guess the hull it's working, but other than that, it's just... Eh. It's not the best if it's uh, being heated by the hull. So it might be destroyed if that's the case, which is not good, I don't think. Okay, put the pipes away in here, I guess. Got the fluid tanks, large quality. Don't need to worry too much beyond that. Alright. Anyways. Anyways. The point is, is that the temperature is getting wacky. Uh, we will need more lava if this is the case. Which, I mean... I half expected it to be a problem at some point. Uh, lava. But I wasn't expecting this to be the cause. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First, the dye. We need cactus green. Alright, yep. Okay, these did nothing for me, so let's quickly grill them here, I guess. I guess there's pressure cables, but we don't need to worry about that right now. We just need to worry about the cactus green, which will be converted into dye powder. And then we can start using the hull for... Oh no, it's cooling. That's not good. Okay, so the hull will actually cool down, so that's not good. We actually need this to uh, stay heated. There we go. Pick that up. Seems the cactus is growing, so that's a good sign. But it does concern me now that uh, I'm seeing the temperature drop significantly. Heat it up on all four corners. Oh, one second. Ah, oh boy. Okay. Well, this kind of sucks, because uh, life stuff is getting in the way, but I really can't do much about it, and it's going to take a little bit if I want to... Uh... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to cut the uh, stream here for a bit, so I can uh, do life stuff. But I will be back as soon as possible in order to... Uh... You know, do the rest of this. Do the rest of the stream. Which, who knows how long it'll take, but... The point is, uh, I should be able to do it in due time, but first let's do a real quick thing here. Green dye powder. Let's put this in and see if we uh, make any changes here. Uh, can we make... Oh, we can make green plastic. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so we can make it just easy like that. Okay, perfect. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take like 30 minutes, if not an hour, uh, for you, those 
those of you on YouTube, you'll notice a small quick cut, but nothing will change ultimately in the end. But I'll be back in, I don't know, uh, an hour or two, or however. So I apologize for those of you on Twitch. Don't worry, I'll be back. And we will get into part two in a bit. With that, see you guys in a little bit. Alright everyone, I am back. So, if I do recall correctly, last we left off, we were uh, making uh, plastic. Uh, it appears I don't actually need to uh, worry too much about the item temperature, rather than I do the hull temperature. So, as long as the hull temperature fits, then I should be fine to make whatever I want. Which is good. It saves me the effort of uh, needing to use it for some, some other purpose, or something. But I digress. Considering lava is a good substitute for what I need, that saves me a lot of trouble. In the near future, anyways. Okay. Well, with that out of the way, we've got four green plastic. Which, all things considering, is actually a really great thing for me. Okay. Now, with the green plastic, I can make... Really... Uh, I can make, uh, empty PCBs. I can also make etching acid buckets, which is actually a really important thing. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a bucket of water real quick. Uh, we don't have any excess water, do we? I'm kind of hoping we do, in here at least. Nope, not there. Okay, it appears we're uh, lacking water, so I'll quickly just grab a bucket from here, I guess. Save myself the trouble. Grab there, and off we go back. Alright. So, in order to make what we're looking for, we need to... Let's first turn these off. We will put the water bucket in. Okay. You want the item filter to have a bucket of water. Uh, what else do we need? We need two points. We need spider eyes. We need green plastic. So get the green plastic in there. Or at least mark it. Actually, I could just cancel these. Alright, so green plastic. We need two, specifically. We're going to need Rotten Flesh, Gunpowder, and spider, eye. spider Eyes. Which is basically three mob drops. Okay. Two Spider Eyes. Two Gunpowder. And... Two Rotten Flesh, I believe. Yep. And with that... I just quickly place these in. And there we go. That's the uh, recipe for it. And that should pump in, I think. I th yep, there it goes. Okay, there we go. Wait, hold on. What's it doing? That's odd, okay. Hmm. O okay. I don't exactly want to, uh... Hold on. Let's, uh... Let's get a normal pipe, I guess. Uh, I should be able to use, uh... Quartz transport pipe with the ease. Because that is the easiest thing to do. Hmm. 
Okay, how does this work then? Oh, is, uh... Are they already in? Okay, so the bucket of water is in there. Okay. Let's see. Uh, the rotten flesh is in there, I think. Or unless it's in the chest, which it isn't. Okay. Okay, just give it a moment. And it should work. Yep. Hmm. Is it good? I'm not sure. It doesn't tell me. Which kind of sucks, because I'm not sure if the machine's working or not. No valid items in the chamber. No problems, information. Okay, do I need to put in spider eyes, I guess? Or did is, was there a specific order that I need to put them in? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to assume, really. Ow. Okay, so what I do know is that the water the gunpowder, the green plastic. All right. So I managed to get the spider eyes, the water buckets, the green plastic, the rotten flesh. Did I get the gunpowder in there? Uh, let's let's just throw in the. Let's see, rotten flesh. Let's get rotten flesh and gunpowder in there. See if that helps. I mean, it should. Okay, it accepted. Is it pressing? I don't think it is. Hmm. All right, all right. I hate doing this, but I can't really do much about it. Alright. Okay, pressure chamber walls, pressure changer interface. It's not like that, so this would be the outer. Like so. And put the walls in. Done. <sighs> I hate that I have to lose all the pressure, but it's not like I can really fix this. How do I do this? This is aggravating. Hmm. I'm stumped, to be honest. Like, really, really stumped. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. okay. Wait. Etching acid bucket. Okay, so I was doing it right. I guess I was just placing it a bit too fast. That's probably the issue. I, I would assume, anyways. Okay. Well. I guess I'm not complete dunce if that works, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Place the chest there. Place the chest here. Good. That'll have to do for now. Because I can't think of any other way to go about it. Okay. Well, I got the etching acid, so that's a plus. 
All right, put everything here. As long as we got the acid, I'm fine, like, that's okay. I'm just disappointed that uh, I had to go through the effort of uh, depositing all that jazz and it not pulling through here. Which kind of sucks. You know what? I got a better idea. Worst case, if a, a quartz transport type, type doesn't work, there is another option. And I know the best option here. I just need to place one of those, uh... things that teleports, which is, uh... I forget what it's called. Uh, it was like an ender... thing? Uh, not an enter ender alternator, uh... There's... Oh, there's ender generators and whatnot. Ooh, that's good. Okay. No, here we go. Ender Hopper. Here we are. Uh, hopper to Obsidian. Unstable Ender Pearl. So, I need a bronze uh, gear once again. Okay, bronze. Perfect. Get five plates and eight wood. There we go. Eight wood. Turn it into plank or a chest. Quickly get the gear. It's likely done already. Grab that. Make the hopper after I get two obsidian. Two obsidian. There we go. Okay. Uh, bronze gear. Chest. Now I just need an unstable ender pearl, which is ender pearls and wither dust. So with that, uh, Wither Dust, one Wither Dust, one Ender Pearl. There we are. Unstable Ender Pearl. And now we can make the Ender Hopper. Which is quite literally the thing we need in order to prevent that situation from happening again. Because it can actually transport through walls. Which is good. That saves us a lot of trouble. So, let's see, uh, we need the last bit, which is the hopper. Here we are. Okay. We just place the ender hopper right here, and it will gather as much resources as it needs. Uh, whether they uh, enter in here and don't exit out, I don't care. It should do the job, though. That's the key thing. Which is the important factor here. Okay. Now we need PCBs. Okay. We need an empty PCB, uh, which requires a pressure chamber and uh, compressed ingots, so... Alright, one green plastic to start with. Oh. Okay. Oh, I guess there's not enough pressure. That would do it. Uh, it needs to have 1.5 bar. Okay. In that case, I'm probably going to need more air compressors then. At least to uh, speed up the process. Alright, in that case... I'm going to need more compressed iron ingots. Well, I've got 14 right now. Uh, I've got tons of TNT, so it's just a matter of making the, uh, making it, which is the go-to. Okay, 12, there we go, 8 pressure pipes, there we go, that's enough for 2 at least, which is good, that'll help significantly. Alright, so with that, in that case, we're gonna need two furnaces, so let's get 16 cobble. 16, there we go. Alright. Turn the cobble into furnaces. Put the furnaces here. Put the pipe there. 
And there we go. Two more air compressors. With this, we can put that there, this there. Uh, take this out. There we go. And we should be able to link this pressure pipe over here if we... Oh, no. Not there. But we can do it like so, to where the compressors, or the air compressors are there. And we will split it into sevens, so that way the pressure increases by threefold. And that should increase everything uh, much faster, which is the important factor here. Okay. Now we need to see if we can get more glass, obviously. Because the more glass we have, the more tanks we can make. Alright. Organize accordingly. There we go. And once the pressure on this increases to its optimal amount, should be good to go. Yeah. That should increase to 0.3 uh, in a bit. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. So, we need to wait for the... We need to wait for that to pressurize and do its own thing. In the meantime, what we can do is... Uh, I guess... Get six of stacks of gravel toss that in the crusher because that will help us get more uh, sand which will be used for glass which once again will be used for fluid tanks uh, to upgrade the fluid tank from large we need purple blocks and blocks of biotope or biotite which is ender biotite so we could probably do that right now if we wanted to. Uh, we just need the biotite, which is here. Just do that. There we go. There we go. Uh, gather these. Uh, gather the end. No, the purple blocks. That's it. The purple blocks. They are in here. Thankfully. Alright, with that, we can make the huge tanks with relative ease. And now we just need platinum plates, which we can uh, quickly convert from uh, ingots. Alright, uh, platinum. That is silver, this is platinum. And we got enough for two stacks, so let's quickly do that then. Or at least, no, we need one stack actually. We'll do one stack of platinum plates to help us uh, upgrade the tanks to their final form, which is extreme. Well, technically. Uh, because we can't use hyper because those require nether stars, which require killing the wither a lot. And I don't exactly want to do that. And then, of course, we got the last upgrade, which is definitely not something we're going to need. That's an excessive amount. Okay, we're going to need seven gray plastic, an air canister. And we're going to need a GPS tool, from the looks of it. Which I'm not going to be using just yet. Rather, I'm more concerned about what we've got going right now. Okay. How's pressure looking? Uh, 0.5. It's getting there, but not there enough. Alright, well with that, let's get the uh, iron plates. 46, that'll do. Alright, that's enough for small. Make those. We'll make the normals, which we'll make the... Which we'll need gold plates for, which will require a stack of uh, compression. While we wait, then we will make... I've got the gold plates, do I? No, I don't. 
Uh, get the gold plates. Quickly turn these into something. Turn them into four of those, which will turn into huge. So we've got 11 huge tanks. Nice. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Iron plate, there we go. Etching acid. Uh, after five minutes, an unassembled PCB will be produced. Perfect. Alright. I think that's all I can really do. I just gotta wait for the pressure bar to go up. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let's see if we can do anything in AE, er, AE2 storage. Right, we actually need the assembler, don't we? Yeah, we need the assembly controller, which requires printed circuit boards. Which requires unassembled PCBs. Oh boy. Can I make the uh, transistors at least? It requires one bar. Great. Okay, so we can't make those yet. Hmm. We really are in a, uh, pickle of sorts. Because I can't really do anything unless I have these assembly controllers, which... It's just a whole mess of things. Which requires a assembly drill, an IO unit... And that requires stabilized metal with the Adromedon tablet, which requires great plastic and a GPS tool and air canister. <sighs> it's... it's a lot. It is a lot. So here's what we're gonna do. Alright, we want gray plastic. Let us get seven gray plastic. Okay. What else do we want? Yeah, we want uh, a GPS tool, which will require four red plastic. Okay, I need more... Uh, need more steam, so let us get a jerry can. Actually, do we need a jerry can? Well, actually... Can we not use the huge fuel tanks? Hmm. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna get one of these tanks and I'm gonna try and start filling it. With as much water as I can feasibly get. And it's small. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't do that. I can't pick it up without too much hassle. And my storage for this uh, container is actually pretty good, so... Not going to be that big an issue. Okay, well, I'm going to need water regardless, so I'm going to need to figure out how I'm going to do this. Mm. Well, I guess the only way is really a bucket, but I can't use the etching acid bucket, so I'll put that away. Let's get the normal bucket, and we'll start pumping it full of uh, liquid via the old-fashioned method of... Uh, just throwing a bucket at it and seeing what happens. Oh my god. This is gonna take forever. Is there a faster way to do this? Uh, here we go. Fluid pump. No. I won't be able to use that. I can use an, a fluid pump here. Uh, fluid extraction. Extract liquid into cables or machines. Hmm. I have no idea if this will work, but it's worth a shot. 
Alright, let's give it a go. I have no idea if this will work, but if it does, then I've found a solution to get water. At least temporarily. And it'll be a, uh, it'll, it'll be a innovative. So we need a four gold nuggets, which, eh, not too hard to get. Get one of the, one of these. Okay. Let's see. We need a cast for nuggets. Oh god, we have so much inventory. Geesh. Okay. Put that stuff in here for now, I guess. Pressure changer pot. Yeah, let's put those in here. We'll, we'll worry about everything else later. For now, let's just focus on the task at hand. Put the chisel away. There we go. Worst case, we'll just come back, and we'll uh, do it that way. Alright. Let us get the nugget cast. Pretty easy to do, all things considering. Alright, put in the gold. We're going to want nuggets. Uh, we're going to want the weighted pressure plate, which is two iron plates, which is easy enough. Alright. Two iron plates... Alright, for the weight pressure plate, uh, we're going to want a dropper, which is seven cobble, and one redstone. There we go. Like so. Put it like that, put that there, put the weight pressure plate down on the bottom. Now I have no idea if this is going to work, as intended. But it's not like I got a better choice. I'll see if it works, and if it does, then I've got a uh, solution to my problems. Which is gonna be nice. Alright, fluid extraction. I have... Alright, well, we take the fluid extraction over to the water here. Place it there. Take the fluid extraction. Oh, it extracts from there. Not intended, but okay. No, it's not how it works. Ow, okay. Well, <laughs> at least I'm accustomed. <laughs> okay, no. Uh... Uh, fluid source pipe. Acts as a path source, but doesn't actively interact with neighbor tanks. Okay. Uh, fluid outlet. Fluid intake. Drains connected fluid lakes above the block into its eternal tank. I... Alright, drains connected fluid lake lakes above the block. Into its eternal tank. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Could I potentially use a build craft pipe and do the same thing? Alright, I guess I'm testing a little bit. <laughs> Just to see what works. Uh, we have a fluid reader, not what we need. We've got fluid crafter, fluid pump, fluid diction. No. Fluid pipe will transfer liquid and gas from source to destination block. No. Uh, let's see. Let's see, inductive logistics. Item transport pipe, item... Here we go, fluid fluid pipes. Uh, fluid transport pipe, stores 1k millibucket internally. Uh, acts as a path destination. Fluid extraction, fluid destination. Advanced universal pipe, no. 
item buffer, not what we need. Uh, let's see. Automatic crafter. Takes items from neighboring inventories to perform automatic crafting. Nope. Uh, overflow trash. No, we want to... Uh, fills connected hollow areas below the block with supplied fluids. Uh, item placer. No. I think the fluid intake might be the best way. Which requires a fluid tank small, which is not too costly. Alright, one fluid tank small. Uh, four copper ingots. A uh, sticky piston. A sticky piston, four copper ingots. And what else? Uh, we're going to need iron bars, which is not too hard, I don't think. Yeah, it's just six iron rods, which is three iron bars with the components in immersive engineering. All right, let's uh, replace the metal press of plates. Place in three iron. There we go. Take the glass while we're at it, because that'll help. Okay, that's the... Uh, bars, or the the rods made. We'll place the uh, template back. Whew, okay. And then we'll turn these into iron bars, in which case we take the fluid intake, and there we go. Drains connected fluid lakes above the block into its internal tank. Now, I'm not sure if this will work or not, but we'll see. Okay. We just need one of the fluid tanks. We'll place it, I guess, here. And I do believe that should work. No. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay, hit. There we go. Hmm. Oh, do I need a pipe to a, a fluid transport pipe, or is it something else? Item source, no. Uh, stores 1k millibuckets internally. Fluids will move along the displayed path where each pipe can receive from multiple inputs but can only pass on on its contact content to one output I have no idea if that's gonna work though and it's gonna need quartz glass which requires arc furnace and nether quartz dust uh, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll make the fluid transport pipe we might as well if we're gonna go through all this effort we might as well put simply. Put those away, as well as that. Okay. I'm really just winging it at this point to see what works. <laughs> but hey, if I get water, then I get water, and it saves me trouble of bucketing. Okay. But whatever. Uh... Quartz glass. Yeah, quartz glass. Oh, whoops. There we go. Uh, is there a pump? Fluid pump? No, that just makes... Well, does it? I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, no, a fluid pump uh, does the job, though. A vacuum pump? No. Whatever. Oh, we've run out of fuel of those three. Let's just do that real quick. Okay. 
There we go. We'll give them 10 per. That should be enough to uh, pump it to 1.5. While I'm just uh, floundering around. Trying to figure out what to do with my head like a headless chicken. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh, dung pipe, no. Sewer pipe, no. Pipe pulsar, no. Uh, fluid pipes. Uh, stripes transport pipe? No. Wooden fluid pipe. Extraction pipe. Let's try the wooden pipe. Maybe, maybe that'll work. I'll just get a wooden... Wooden, uh transport pipe, get the quartz pipes, uh, I'll get a lever, I'll get the redstone engine, what else do I need? I need the... I need a sealant more than anything so I can turn it into a... Uh... Yeah, I need uh, the pipe sealant which is a slime ball. Uh, I don't think we have slime balls, so the next best thing is cactus green, I think? Yeah, cactus green. And thankfully we've got plenty of cactus growing now. So let's just quickly vein mine the lot. Perfect. That should be plenty to fill the farm. Okay, quickly, almost done. I'll get a light in the middle once I get the chance, but it's not too much a concern right now, considering they just grow naturally. I do want to see about adding their... Well, I, I do want to see about adding a apiary, or trying to. Here we go. Get one. Turn that into pipe sealant. Turn the wooden transport pipe into a wooden fluid pipe. Alright, let's bring the fluid tank with us. And let's uh, do some experimentation. Okay. So we are going to want to stick... I guess the wooden fluid pipe at the very bottom of this lake here, right here. We'll get some quartz pipe going up, like so. And we will get the... what is it? We'll get the tank, which is here, on top. We will get the redstone engine, placing it here. Uh, and we will quickly dig a small block below it. Well, once we get the, uh... Yeah, once we get the, uh, machine back up. Come on. There we go. We will quickly... Uh, do we go that way? I mean, I guess, uh... I guess I could do the sealant instead, or I could use the uh, fluid intake as well. And will it do the job? Maybe. I don't know. Alright, uh, let's place the redstone engine. have no idea if this is going to work, but we'll see. Okay. There we go. 
I have no idea if this is going to work, but we'll see. Alright, dig down. There we go. Okay, with this, turn on the lever. That does not work as intended. Okay, in that case, we will place the dirt down here. Do it like so. Get the uh, redstone engine down here. Turn it on like that, I guess. Now that doesn't empty anything. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay. Let's eat some apple pie for the trouble. Get some healing in, basically. Okay. Now, if we can... I think the best way we can go about this is if we... If we place the fluid intake near the very bottom... God, this is such a difficult measure. Because who knows how this is going to work. Alright, uh, just cover this up. Why not? Okay. Fluid intake goes here, I guess. Alright. Get this. Take this wooden fluid pipe. Alright. Take the redstone engine. Place it on the side here. Take the fluid tank here. Get the lever. Pump it through. Does that help? Causes block updates? No. Ah. Okay, there we go. Well, it's getting... I mean, it... It was going. Okay, what, what went wrong? Hmm. Okay, 32. See if this helps. Okay, it's pumping water through. Alright, now it's starting to pump water. Perfect. Now this should just slowly pump water and uh, gather as it sees fit. It's going to drain significant amounts. Oh, I see. It's literally taking from this ocean. Oh, God. <laughs> I might actually have to extend this as big as possible. All right, uh, 128. 128 should be fine. Here we go. That'll do. And that'll slowly fill. There we go. Done. And with that, it'll slowly fill up with water. And I can just let that go for as much as I need to. Which is good. It'll save me the trouble of actually needing to uh, use water in the near future. But that lake is going to go bye-bye in a bit. 
<laughs> or at least in a while, a long while. All right, one second. Okay. Let's see how everything else is doing. All right. We've got a 1.7 on the pressure bar, which is actually fantastic. Okay, now that we've got water sorted, and we can make infinite plastic with that at some point, let's focus on the uh, what really matters right now. Actually, I should probably fill the geo can. Well, what would it have done? Uh, yeah, might as well. Let's let's get a new jerry can. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've got the NAFTA stuff. I mean, I guess. Okay. I mean, let's get three uh, jerry cans worth of uh, liquid water. And just pump it into the, uh, pump it to get steam, real quick. Okay, fill this. There we go. Fill. Build. There we go. Well, that's, uh, quite literally 30 stacks. Uh, well, 30 blocks of water. Just straight up. That's not bad. Alright, well, with this, uh, if we can tolerate the lag, of course, put the water in, put the water in, and let steam produce. And we can have that producing into liquid plastic, but we should not let it produce into raw plastic, because we need the liquid plastic right now, more than anything. Okay. What were we doing? Uh, we needed PCBs, I believe. So that would require green plastic and compressed iron ingots. Uh, I do believe we have enough compressed iron ingots. Uh, actually, we ran out. Hmm. Okay, well, that's an easy fix. That's like literally a stack of iron. Take a stack of iron. One stack. Uh, I do believe we have a lever, but if not, that's fine. We'll just make do with something else, I suppose. Nope, we got lever. Perfect. Let us get some TNT. Thankfully, I managed to collect a ton beforehand. And we'll just use it to trim this bit here a little bit more. Because why not? Oh. Uh, yeah, let's actually keep those on. Nope. Cease. Alright, place the lever. Place the iron. Just toss it on the ground. Flick. Done. There we go. Compressed iron. 51. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, with that compressed iron, we can now... What was I going to do? I was going to turn it into uh, PCBs. That's right. What we're going to want to do is we're going to take one compressed iron, have that go into the machine. Now let's just do this, I guess. On then. Oh, 
Okay, uh, let's get Lever. That might actually be a bit better, I guess, than Redstone. Stick. Cobble. Stick on top. Cobble on bottom. There we go. Oh, boy. Okay. Place that down. Flick. Oh, do I need to remove this? And move this to the middle instead? That might be what it is. Okay. No? What's going on then? Hmm. Wooden transport pipe, it's on. Do I literally need a pipe to actually export it? I might need a pipe to export. Oh, oh dear, okay. Hmm. Okay. I mean, that's easy enough, I think. It's just a quartz transport pipe, I think. And then the rest does its work. Let's see. Is that it? No? How did it work before then? Hmm. Alright, so to make iron ingots, you need... Hmm. Turbine blade? We need green plastic and compressed iron ingot. Okay. And that requires a 1.5 bar, which I've got plenty. I've got the bar. Uh, no valid items in the chamber. Insert valid items in the chamber to be compressed. Okay, well... How do I do that, then? It goes in the input, obviously. <sighs> yeah, more problems, more... More issues, I would assume. Okay. Oh, well. It wouldn't be that much of a... <laughs> it wouldn't be this much of an issue if I... <sighs> it's always gonna be an issue. That's all I can say. Uh, 1.9 bar already. Jeesh. Okay, come on. No. Can I put this in? No. What is stopping me? Hmm. Uh, redstone. Okay, no problems. Compressed iron ingot. Is there, is there seriously, is there no way to get it to work? Unless I do another method? Okay, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ditch the build craft idea, because it's clear build craft uh, stuff is not working for me. At least that's what I think is the issue. So it's clearly... So something is not working. That's the key thing here. And it needs to input and output. That's the key thing that we need to overcome. Okay. What sort of pipes can we use? Alright, we've got item transport pipes, which is inductive logistics, which requires plastic. Uh, contains a one-slot inventory. Items will move along the displayed path 
where each pipe can receive from multiple inputs, can, but can only pass on its contents to one output. Okay. Uh, there's the access extension pipe as well as an option, but I don't think that's what we need right now. We don't need a fluid pipe. We need an item cable, I guess? Uh, extraction cable to transfer pipes. Okay. Okay. Let us try utilizing cyclic. Alright, item extraction. Extracts items into item cables. Extract power into cables or ma machines. Hmm. Man, this is just a downright chore. <laughs> a sack of holding. Hmm. No, okay. Um, ba 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 ba. Okay, well, the key thing we need to know is. We're going to need item cables and item extraction cables. Uh, we made a fluid extraction cable, but we don't have an item extraction cable, so... I think what we're going to need is an item extraction cable, so... Let us get an iron ingot. Uh, preferably one. And we will turn these into nuggets. While we're at it. So we'll turn those into nuggets. We will get ourselves a dropper and weighted pressure plate, which is two plates of iron and a dropper, which is not too hard. It's basically this. Uh, get the weighted uh, the redstone, there we go. Dropper, place that there, that there. Then we get the nuggets. And if I'm not mistaken, this should theoretically work. But anything's bound to fail at once. Okay, three, four. Let's see if this works, because it might just be a difference in pipe. Uh, it might just be pipe thing. In which case, the item extraction table will go there. Okay, transfer rate, rate run for one, ignore list, allowed list, uh, always on. Let's see if it works. Nope. Uh, one for one. Nope. Maybe I have to single it out. Hmm. Maybe it's... There we go. Done. Okay, so it was just different positioning. That's all it came down to. Okay, the iron, or compressed iron will go through. Then it will uh, create the machine, or the uh, material. Place this here, place that there. Now this should pull in the items if need be. I 
think this will work. Not sure what the pressure chamber, chamber interface is going to do for me. Okay. Here we go. Ah, here we go, empty PCB. Well, that was ominous. Bloody thunder. <laughs> okay, so here's what I figured out from the uh, machine. So, first and foremost, the obsidian chests are, are the way to go. Oh, one second. All right, well, that was something. Uh, sorry, I just received a phone call, that's all. But yeah, no, uh, to give you rough, a rough idea, uh, items will tr ex or import into here. They'll export out here. But what it does annoyingly is that, well, if you don't have everything prepared, essentially it's just gonna come out there. Yeah, it just basically does an annoying little bit there. Yeah, so you, you need multiple materials if you want to make it work. And even then, that's like... It just, for some reason, doesn't... I don't know. I think the issue is that, uh, well, the main reason is that this bit, uh, extracts the items way too fast. So, as a result, you have to actually have something in there at a, like, at any given time. So it just makes the whole process more strenuous. Well, whatever. Just having the materials on hand to do what we need is fine. And I think I'm going to swap over to those cables because they uh, make life easier. But regardless. Need four of these cables. Or at least uh, two cables to uh, import and export, so... That's the important bit that we need to worry about. Right, uh, I need to make it here. Alright, one's redstone... Cobble, there we go, dropper. Nuggets in the corner, plate, there we go. And then I can just put the uh, bit here. And let's just turn on the allowed list for now. And here's what we're going to do we're going to put in two compressed iron ingots. That way, it should only put... Oh. Yeah, and we just turned on the allowed list accordingly. Okay. There we go. Alright, uh, let's turn on the ignore list for this. Put in one ingot. Then we will put in that. And put in the other ingot. There we go. Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, no, it's opening and closing, which is the annoying bit here, so... 
What does it have currently? It has nothing. Okay, so... Put in one compressed ingot. Take out the other. And with it uh, turned on, it won't extract, I do believe? No, it's still extracting. Okay. Uh, requires redstone. Uh, yeah, let's go with requires redstone. And we'll have a lever on it. There we go. Otherwise, uh, uh, it'll have an ignore list. And we will place it in. Hopefully that stops it from uh, pulling. At least that's the hope. Please don't pull. Okay, it's still pulling. Okay. Let's... Let's do it the other way, then. Alright. Ingot. Plate. Ingot. Okay, now that the ingot's there. Now it can't escape. And it can turn into a PCB. There we go. And it'll take out the materials. There we go. Now I got two empty PCBs. Put in a UV, UV light to process. There we go. We'll just let that etch accordingly. The item does not despawn, which is good. We are going to take some sand, I guess, as a form of means to place the etching, or the uh, etching fluid, because we're going to need to make plenty of these, or at least a lot of them, I think. Alright, that's 28-30%. Alright, pneumatic, etching buckets, alright, we've got the etching, well, we don't have the acid bucket, we didn't get it, okay, one sec, there we go, got the bucket, which was the needed part here, okay, how is the PCB looking, it's looking pretty good, okay, okay, the etching acid is there, let's definitely not touch it, because it's probably really dangerous, and toxic for us. Alright. Now, what will the PCB do is the question. Alright, we can turn this into an unassembled PCB. To make it an... Alright, so an empty PCB... Uh, throw in an empty PCB, which has been exposed in a UV light box. So this needs to be 100% uh, before I do so, but once it's done, it's done. And I think, uh, the pressure of... 1.9 bar, okay, let's, uh, turn that up, actually. Give it a quick, uh, fuel up with one coal per... Here we go. That should increase it to 2 bar. Which is kind of what we need. Yeah, no, 2 bar is actually exactly what we need. So let's pump it a bit more, actually. Just to make sure the pressure is up. Let's give it a 3 additional, just to be sure. Just get in that uh, significant range of 2 to 3. There we go. Now, it should be 2 bar at some point. At least I hope. <laughs> well, it should produce regardless. Yeah, it's producing, like, a ton of air, which is nice. As long as we don't get it any higher than 5, then we're good, essentially.
All right. But I digress. That is a uh, two bar now. Perfect. I'll I'll just remove this pipe for now, and just have it like so. That way I can pull on it whenever I need to. Alright, what does the PCBs do for me? Uh, I can make the printed circuit boards, which I can make two. Alright, what does the printed circuit boards do? They make advanced PCBs, they make drones, pneumatic boots. They make a bunch of stuff, is the point. But the most needed bit is obviously the assembly controller, which is three of these circuit boards. Oh boy. Okay. How is uh, the liquid looking? Uh, steam. Alright, well. I guess the NAFTA is doing it. Well, there's an easy fix for this. Just cut that, cut this, and place them back. Starting with... Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably put... I should probably put that there instead, actually. One sec. There we go. Uh, quickly get the hammer from our inventory, or, or where was it? Uh, I guess it's in here. Uh, in one of these chests. It's here. Perfect. Just get that reactivated for the NAFTA. There we go. Get this empty bit here. Uh, I'm gonna need some pipe. Uh, two pipe specifically it looks like but before we do let's put in the steam there we go yeah, I might as well get the rest while I'm at it there we go and with that uh, get two more pipes if we can assuming there is any left I don't think there is, though, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. We'll just make more. Just get six. Line it up like so. Done. And huzzah. Done. Now I don't need to worry about it too much. At least I don't think I need to worry about it too much. Yeah. The steam will go in. Yeah, steam will go in here. It'll process into liquid uh, propene, which will then turn into... Yeah, it'll turn into liquid propene. It'll turn into then liquid plastic, which is exactly what I need for the plastic mixer. Uh, and that'll make uh, more of those plates that I need. Uh, let's see. Uh, I do believe I need to make a remote control of some kind, I think, at some point. Yeah, I need to make a GPS tool. Uh, that's going to require a platinum plate, which we have. I'm going to need stained uh, glass pane, which I do believe we have plenty of. We've got uh, four. Let's get white glass pane. We've got a redstone torch already. Uh, what else? Yeah, we got redstone torch, we got the glass pane, we got platinum plates in here, I do believe. Just grab one. No, that's a nickel. Okay, the platinum should be in here, I think. Uh, yep, golden platinum. Perfect. Put the gold in there, get the platinum in there, take one out for myself. And then we just need the four plastic, which is actually really easy to do. 
get the molten plastic while we can. Pop it in here. Uh, oh, that's molten propene, not what I need. Okay, not what I wanted, but okay. There we go, done. Ouch. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> oh dear, there, there's another bucket, isn't there? Oh boy, there we go. There we go. Propene's been placed. Huh, okay. Get the... Well... Okay, well, let's cut this off for now. So that way, uh... The, pla the uh, propene and plastic don't mix. Or cause trouble. There we go. We want another red plastic if we can. Perfect. Let's grab that. That makes all the required ingredient ingredients for the uh, for the GPS. So with that, we will make the GPS. Uh, boom. Here we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Shift left click. Shift. All right. So left click to empty programming area. Alright, uh, shift left click, empty programming up, left click existing coordinate or area piece to overwrite it. Okay, well, I don't need it, so that's fine. So, now, because we have that, we can now make something else, I do believe. We can make the Amadron tablet, which is going to require seven gray plastic in of its own. So we're going to need more plastic. So let's get, uh, I guess the propene's just slowly working. Okay, molten propene goes in there. Exports there. Okay, why isn't it working then? Ah, oh boy. Okay, what what's going on? Molten propene goes in here. There we go. Hmm. Is the pipe literally actually helping? Because if so, I'm going to be uh, a bit confused, but okay. Okay. Well, whatever. Is it okay? Why isn't it working then? Oh wait, no, it is working. Hmm. Okay. Put it in. There we go. It, it's slowly processing. It's just taking its bloody time. 
Oh boy. Ow, ow. Okay. Molten plastic, molten plastic. There we go. Okay, we've got five buckets worth. Uh, I do believe we need gray, which we've already got. What else do we need for this uh, controller of sorts? Okay, so we got the GPS area tool and we got the GPS tool. We want the GPS area tool to make the Amadron tablet. We're going to need an air canister, which is two redstone, uh, four compressed iron ingots. So let's quickly get those while we're at it. And we need one of those pipes. So two redstone. Uh, where are those pipes things? I think they're in here. Yep. Get a pressure pipe. And then make an air canister with a zero bar pressure. And now we make an Avadron tablet. I am used to order items slash fluids, similar to villager trading, except items and fluids are picked up and delivered via drones, which is way more awesome than villagers. Okay. Amadron delivery. Now I need to find a charge or a pressure charging station. Okay, for more detailed info, okay. A pickup slash drop off location must be specified by right clicking inventory and or tank with the tablet. Okay. So that leaves uh, two things then. I've got to make. Well, I've got a liquid extraction tablet. Well, I can make a liquid extraction. And then we need an item extraction. But first, let's do the fluid tanks. Okay, uh, from the fluid tanks we can make extreme versions, which is actually not that bad. So, we just need platinum plates, and we will turn all of these into extreme versions, which is the goal. So we've managed to make the liquid storage. While we couldn't get to the 82 stuff, we are getting there. It was just mainly figuring out the pressure chamber and all that jazz that sort of buggered things up to some extent and made us take time uh, but other than that we're doing pretty well I'd say we just need to find a charging station yeah we need a charging station which is a pressure tube three bricks and three cobblestone Okay, three cobblestone. Uh, oh, cobblestone slabs. Cobblestone slabs, uh, three bricks, which I do think is easy enough to make. In fact, I think I have unfired bricks here. Yep, just three. Just for this very occasion. Definitely not, but okay. Alright. And now we just need a tube, which is easy enough. Make the tube, and there we go. Done. Charging station. And now, we can take this. Oh, not there. We'll go place it here, I guess. Yeah. And we'll place the uh, Atromodon tablet there to charge. I'm not sure how much pressure it needs, but it needs enough, so I'm assuming it needs 10. Let's get... Well, there's three, so... Let's get 18, I guess. That'll do. That'll be enough for six coal which will split up evenly between the three. And it should get us to three pressure, at least, which is all right. That'll charge the uh, Amadron tablet, 
Uh, I will need to find a way to input the inventory for it, though. So there is that. But that should be easily made with a chest of obsidian. Eight chests, or ra rather one chest of obsidian. There we go. And we can uh, place the liquid storage accordingly without too much hassle. And we'll just have it, like, right here, I guess? Alright. Uh, fluid tank uh, can be upgraded from there, but we probably don't want to do that. We want uh, one fluid tank extreme here, and that will be used to store any liquids we want to uh, order from the, the little tablet here. But all in all, it's just a charge away from, you know, just doing things. And then there's an empty PCB. But here's what I'm probably going to do. Uh, to give you a rough idea, all you need to do for the empty PCBs is toss them into the etching acid for five minutes. And it should make the uh, components you're looking for, for the next step. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend my time grinding and getting uh, a bunch of these PCBs set up and figuring out a uh, better way to uh, manage this pr pressure chamber because it's very clear that things are not working to uh, the best extent of uh, what I want it to be. And there is a few hiccups here and there, but that's fine. The point is, I've managed to do a lot this session, I'm probably going to call it here because... As much as I want to keep going and continuing, I'm tired and I want to take a break. And, we, you know, we've done quite a lot. I mean, while we didn't get into the uh, specifics, we did manage to get the one of the goals, which is uh, make liquid storage. So I'm going to have to change uh, the title a little bit. But today was just a weird day. I, I was just making PCBs, so... Oh well. Regardless, for those of you on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification if you want to see more of my stuff. I stream every day except Sunday, so if you want to see more of my stuff, you can either check me out there or go to Twitch. For those of you on Twitch, follows are always appreciated and help me uh, expand my channel. So the more you do that, the more content I can give you guys and the more features I can give you. Uh, on both platforms, if you are willing to do so. If you are willing to go through that effort, spread my name around, get my name out there. Every little bit helps. If you want to share this content with a friend, that's a good way to go about it. But if not, then I just hope you enjoyed. That's as much as I'm going to ask out of you. But I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream, despite, you know, it not being that exciting. But that's just how it be. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. And I will see you all next stream. Take care, everyone.